James, what are you doing? Just putting on a movie. Can't you do something more constructive than watching movies all day? Whatever. One Step Away is a 1985 short produced by the National Film Board in Canada. It tells the story of a teen boy who, well, the logline would be that he's one step away from losing the chance at a good, normal life. He gets arrested, drops out of school, the landlord threatens to evict his mom if he doesn't move out. Which, by the way, if your landlord's saying that shit to you, contact your local tenant advocacy group. It is kind of an interesting film to think about. It's competently made, and the story goes a little deeper than your average educational film with the empathy that it shows for the character of Ron, despite the mistakes that he's made. On the other hand, his friends, who have ostensibly made those same mistakes, aren't shown any of this empathy by the story. They're shown as pretty much unrepentant pieces of shit. And the story ends with Ron submitting himself to the authority of the courts and presents this as the ultimate right decision. Classic message for a government-sponsored film. But to be honest, no one would remember this movie. I mean, I certainly wouldn't have seen it if it weren't for one man. Why are you so obsessed with the Keanu? I don't know. Really? I don't. He's just an interesting actor, you know? It's like, We've all heard of him, but how many of his movies have you actually seen? I mean, I guess The Matrix and like... I've seen the one with the cat. Keanu Reeves, like many before him, started his career playing teens. And you know what? He's pretty good at it. I think a lot of the empathy we have for Ron Petrie comes from Keanu's performance. He maybe goes a little big at times, but honestly, I think it works for a teen just trying to figure stuff out. He needs his mom, but at the same time wants independence from her. He wants to impress his friends, but realizes they're not always right. It's classic coming of age stuff. And I guess what I'm trying to say is this movie is not bad. Keanu pops, although I can't say whether it's really him being a good actor or just hindsight. I, it's certainly interesting to compare to films he's doing now and imagine the trajectory to get there. But maybe we don't have to imagine it. Maybe I should watch every one of Keanu Reeves' movies in sequential order and then make a video reflecting on each one.